If you're into hunting, pest control, or just want to capture epic footage, well, buckle up, buttercup, and get ready to turn your scope into high tech. High techy techy. <laughs> Night seeing, road inspiring, memory recording beast. As today, we are looking into the part NV00 V2 that has some surprising features and quirks that you'll want to know before mounting it in, onto your rifle. Hi, I'm Francois. Welcome to Airgunning SA. The part feels like something Batman might clip onto his scope. Check our unboxing video. You get secure clamps with the, with the part in the box. This is extremely helpful uh, if you've got multiple rifles. You can just actually clip it off and clip it back on. But there is a catch to this port. It is very long. The extra length can mess with your eye relief. And on some rifles you will need a scope extender. Especially if you have want to have an actual cheek uh, weld and not doing yoga. So don't worry, we'll show you how to mount it properly in a minute so you don't need chiropractic care. If you're wearing a cap like we do most of the times, you're going to find out fast that that is the enemy. The power button is right where your cap's brim goes we are, and it shuts off mid-recording more times than you like to get to admit. The fix, flip your cap backwards like you're a cool dude or a about to drop a freestyle or you have to go and cut your hat's brim out like this so it dies, goes nice and over your power button. Now let's get serious what this is actually going to be about video quality and I must say it's surprisingly good for a device that doesn't cost as much as your iPhone. It records in 1080p in the daytime and it handles low light very well. It also has nighttime uh, visibility with the built in IR. It won't blow away high end footage like something like the trigger cam, but it does its job. Trigger cam is like a cinema lens and the port is like a reliable buddy filming you with a GoPro after a couple of beers. Absolutely nothing wrong with it and it will do the job. Alright, let's show you how to mount this thing without needing a YouTube DIY degree in scope mounting. So in the box you'll get various sleeves for various, various thickness. So choose the correct one for your scope. This specific scope doesn't need a sleeve. So it's I'm, a thick boy. Yeah, it's a thick boy. So I'm just going to mount it directly onto, onto the scope. So what I've picked up with, with the, with the parties, I have to mount it just just onto the scope to get the perfect image if there's anybody out there that has the same problem let me know if there's a fix to it but you can't mount it deeper you have to just get it basically just just on there so i'm just going to tighten it a little bit so it's there i'm not tightening it all the way then i'm going to take my part and i'm going to mount it on So what I usually do now is I take out the parts app, um, app look at the uh, image, get it nice and horizontal, get the focus right by moving it up uh, forward and backwards. Um, you can adjust your focus, your reticle with the blue dial there, so it's nice and there. And then as soon as you are happy with the position that you want, want it, just tighten it up nice and back, nice and snug. Don't overdo it, it will damage your scope. So just until it catches and then maybe quarter turn more or on both of the screws just till it catches and then maybe a quarter turn more so it's up uh, uh, up right in there so again like i mentioned the part is one thing which i extremely like is i've got three guns i want to move my scope cam i just click it out go to the next gun and click it back on again. yeah this is just bragging but yeah. in any case with, with other makes you have to take off the whole mounting system redo it on the sign redo your image quality and everything this one is just click out just get it in the correct position and click back in and you're done part five battery life is decent <coughs> yeah f editing come on <laughs> <laughs> Battery life is decent around 6 hours, depending on IR use. The nice thing about this is you can easily swap out rechargeable batteries. 
So you can go and buy yourself some of these lithium ion rechargeable batteries and keep it in, in your pocket or something and just quickly swap it around. Very handy thing to have. Yeah, I have to say, I like that function. Yeah, and on the trigger cam, you have to go and recharge for a couple of hours and then you can start using it again. So the menus are pretty intuitive once you get used to them. It records on a micro SD card and has Wi-Fi streaming to your phone, which is perfect to show your buddy what you're actually aiming at or let them feel bad in real time if they if they miss their target. <laughs> so should you get the port NV007V2? Absolutely yes, if you're into nighttime hunting, air rifle blinking, or just want to document your squirrel stand loss in style. It's not perfect, it has a few quirks, but once it's dialed in, you wonder how you, how you shot without it before. Just wear your hat backwards, trust me. Like and subscribe and let us know in the comments if you ever shut your part off with your forehead. We know we are not alone. Thank you for watching.